Welcome to the Windows Computer Technology Channel, and I uh, wanted to come back a little on the uh, Event Viewer because uh, there was a lot of comments on that video, and um, also the fact that it's hard to process the information of the Event Viewer, and that's where you need to really uh, try to pinpoint what exactly is wrong when something doesn't work. Um, you know, it's easy to tell someone, well, you know, if you PC is crashing, you should look at the event viewer. And yes, the event viewer will usually have info on what's happening. But you need to know where to look and what process to go to. Uh, because there's so many errors that you're like, what's the problem with, you know, with, with what's happening on my PC? And what warning, what error message am I getting in the event viewer? So it, often it will have to be decided depending on the type of crash. Um, it's if you know it's an application that crashes, then you can check out you know either applications uh, or even you know in the system. Sometimes they'll have the application that crashes also show up. But even then, the information that's here, you know what does it mean um, exactly? For example, here service control manager it says the timeout was reached. Three thirty thousand milliseconds. You know, yeah, it's, it's you know things that can happen. And look at all the errors that are for service control manager. And once again, I always tell everybody stop, stop going crazy here because what happens is that you will always have errors and event viewer, and that doesn't mean your PC is going bad. There's so many errors in here that are just due to. Uh, a moment in time when something couldn't happen. And that moment in time when something couldn't happen wasn't a crash. It was simply that a task couldn't accomplish what it wanted. So it's really a question of pinpointing a lot more where the error comes from. But yes, the event viewer is kind of a big um, mess of all sorts of information that you're just wondering what's the true information in here or not in the uh, the the event viewer itself so it's it's you'll get probably more information on if you have a blue screen the blue screen itself you might get you know a hint of what's crashing or not but uh, it is sometimes extremely difficult to find and pinpoint something that's the problem within the system um, i'm thinking about ram memory uh, one of the common crashes and causes of crashes for a um, PC is faulty RAM. It happens a lot more than we think. And the problem with the faulty RAM is that I had, just an example of that, I had a PC uh, that would crash all the time with different error messages. It would pinpoint to some apps crashing, but the apps were crashing because the allocation of memory they were using were on the part of the RAM that's faulty. So you might think, oh, well, you know, it's, this is crashing or that if that service is crashing or, oh, look at that, now it's this program that's crashing. What's happening? Well, faulty RAM, and that's where pinpointing an actual problem can be extremely difficult. Um, you know, it's like also, even if you call the tech guy, there's, he's going to check, you know, I'm going to check the event viewer, I'm going to check a few things. But, that, you know, in general, if it's not happening, because that's often the case too, the tech guy's there, but nothing's happening, it's always working fine. You can't really pinpoint anything when all's working fine. So it's kind of tough, but often if it's a random um, and you got blue screens, freezes, um, a lot of a lot of the times it could be faulty hardware like RAM. Uh, RAM memory is one of the most common problems that uh, make crashes on PCs. Uh, and that is something that's hard to pinpoint sometimes because unless you have some extra RAM to switch the RAM modules uh, to test it out, um, you often get random messages all over the place. So yeah, the event viewer, you know, I would say your PC works fine. Um, it's not something you should look at. And once again, you know, we're talking about how, how many, uh, how everyone is different. 
And some people focus on things a lot more than others. And it, it's often not a good thing because it's often creating more stress and thinking that your PC is not going right. The real indication your PC is not problematic is you use it every day and everything works fine all the time. That's an indication that your PC is fine. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.